The Origin and Mythos of Tyre In Norse mythology, the strong warrior Tyre was considered to be one of the first gods. Although there aren't many tales about Tyre left, his legacy lives on as a figure of fairness and lawfulness. It is said that Tyre is the most courageous and fearless of all the gods, and that he serves as an example of bravery and valor in combat. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we are going to talk about the origin and mythos of Tyre. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Tyre was a primary god in the Norse pantheon and the son of Odin. He was a founding member of the Aesir clan, which included the most important gods. It would appear that Odin anticipated the growth of his adherents in the later years of the culture's development during the time of the Vikings, when the legends first began to be written down. On the other hand, one school of thought suggests that Tyre may have presided over the gods during an earlier time period. Tyre is a person in mythology that is shrouded in mystery due to the fact that a significant portion of his story was forgotten while the stories were still being told verbally. The Prose Edda a book that Snorri Sturluson wrote in Iceland at the beginning of the 13th century describes how he lost his right hand. We are aware of this information. The Binding of Fenrir Wolf The god Loki and the giantess Angro Boda were the parents of Fenrir, a colossal wolf who was their offspring. At the time of his birth, it was foretold that he would one day play a role in the final annihilation of the universe. As he expanded in size and became more dangerous, the gods of the Aesir came to the conclusion that it was necessary for them to confine him for their own safety. The first attempt made by the gods to restrain Fenrir, the wolf, failed. The chain was broken with a single fast kick from them. They tried once more with a fetter that was twice as strong, but the enormous wolf was still able to break free of both of the restraints. At this point, the gods' level of concern had reached a new high and Odin, who was Tyre's father, initiated communication with the obstinate Black Elves in order to request their assistance. The dwarves came to an agreement that they would fashion a shackle from six different magical components. These components included the ligaments of a bear, the beard of a lady, the sound of a cat's feet, the root of a mountain, the breath of a fish, and the spittle of a bird. The end product was a chain with the luster of silk but the tensile strength of iron. Fenrir, who first enjoyed the chain game as an opportunity to show off his strength, secretly doubted his ability to break free from this particular fetter, and he wanted a show in of good faith before he would allow it to be put on him. Although he initially enjoyed the chain game as an opportunity to show off his strength, he now doubts his ability to break free from this particular fetter. Tyre courageously volunteered to make the offering of good faith on behalf of all of the gods, and in order to do so, he placed his hand inside the gaping mouth of the wolf. The wolf devoured his hand. After that, Fenrir gave his permission for the chain to be attached around his waist and fastened. This time, despite all of his best attempts, he was unable to break free from his captors and flee. As a result of him being in such a difficult situation, he tore the hand off of Tyre out of anger and frustration. Tyre had sacrificed his hand in order to protect the gods and make sure they were taken care of. Fenrir was left permanently tethered to that location after the rest of the Aesir, intervened and wrapped the chain around a massive slab of stone that was fastened with a big rock. After some time, a muzzle was placed on the howling wolf. He would not speak again till the time of Ragnarok, which was the end of the world as the gods knew it. Family of Tyre Odin, also known as the Allfather, is the leader of the Aesir clan and is Tyre's father. Tyre is the eldest son of Odin. In Norse mythology, he is a person famed for his complexity and notoriety. It is said that he frequently wandered away from the kingdom of the gods, known as Asgard, on excursions to distant regions of the cosmos. Odin exemplified attributes that were at odds with each other. He was interested in gaining knowledge, but he didn't seem to care much about doing what was right or being fair. He was a brave warrior who, despite his masculine qualities, had some feminine traits had some feminine traits. Frigg is the woman who was married to Odin and who gave birth to Tyre. She is the Norse goddess of the sky as well as a figure of love and marriage in Norse mythology. She was able to see what would happen in the future but was unable to change it. She was regarded as a seer. The Battle of Tyre and Garmin 
The conflict known as Ragnarok was the event that kicked off the beginning of the end of the cosmos when the time had come for its conclusion. As the conflict between good and evil erupted, Odin led the gods into combat against Loki, who had giants and monsters with him. In spite of the fact that they were aware of their destinies, the gods chose to face them with defiance, and each of them engaged in combat with a monstrous behemoth or creature. The conflict between the one-armed tire and the hell dog of the underworld, Garm, was always meant to take place. In the end, Tyre was successful in killing Garm, but he sustained such severe wounds that he himself eventually passed away. The release of Fenrir, the wolf, from the enchantment that bound him was one of the most significant events that preceded Ragnarok, because it seems most likely that Tyr would be destined to combat Fenrir in the last battle. Some mythologists believe that Garm and Fenrir are the same character and refer to them interchangeably. He had played a trick on Fenrir, which resulted in him losing one arm. If they are not the same figure, then they are most definitely figures that are quite close to one another. Either way, they both depict the forces of chaos breaking free at the moment when the planet was being destroyed. Influence The Romans later determined that Tyre was actually the planet Mars, and they named the day of the week Tuesday after him in recognition of his discovery. Tysnes is the name of the municipality in Norway that bears Tyre's name. The municipality is likewise named for the god. Later in life, he experienced a drop in status, albeit one that was less severe than that of his infamous father, Odin. Between the years 21 AD and 700 AD, when Germanic people were migrating to and within Europe, a substantial chunk of the ancient legend of Tyre had been forgotten. This migration took place throughout the time period in question. By showing a character that was inspired by Tyre, Marvel Comics is credited with bringing the Norse god Tyre into mainstream culture. This character is an Asgardian warrior who carries a sword and possesses talents beyond those of a normal human. Tyre was revered as the deity of law and justice, in addition to his role as the god of war in ancient Sumerian culture. He presided over disputes that involved legal matters such as oaths, contracts, legal agreements, and treaty. In addition to this, he was the god of the thing itself, which was an assembly of free men in which laws were enacted and cases were resolved. In this assembly, cases were decided and laws were enacted. The Norse and Germanic peoples adored and revered Tyre, particularly the warriors and kings who sought his favor and guidance. His name is known to have been derived from the word Tyre, which can be translated as tyrant. The Norse had an unusually strong devotion to their gods and a deep reverence for them. He was prayed to in order to ensure victory in battle to make decisions that were good and righteous, to inspire valor and loyalty, and for a variety of other purposes. Tyre was also related to the skies, the sun, and the stars, and some academics believe that in a previous incarnation, he may have begun his life as a god of the sky or a solar deity. The connection between Tyr and the heavens, the sun, and the stars dates back to ancient times. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.